How's it going guys and welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. So the reason why there wasn't an episode on Wednesday, a lot of you guys have been asking, is because as FIFA is coming to a close, uh, we're in June and the new cycle starts around September. So the summer months are usually quite exciting, but also... A little bit slower for FIFA. I've decided to go back to one episode per week over the summer. Now, of course, with EA, they probably will drop some big promos. If we get some huge promos over the summer, I will drop some Wednesday episodes here, there, and whenever. I'll keep you guys updated on Twitter and in the Discord so you guys know if I'm doing a Wednesday episode or not. Uh, but for now, it should just be uh, Sunday episodes only. I just don't want to oversaturate it. I want to try and make this still entertaining for you guys to watch without overdoing it constantly. And I think that if I was to do two episodes a week through the slower periods of FIFA, it would probably be a little bit too oversaturated, a little bit too boring. So I thought we'd keep it like this. And hopefully you guys do agree. And obviously if I've missed the mark here and you guys massively disagree, honestly, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Let's jump straight into the episode and start off with Foot Traders uh, team. Who says, love the vids, bro. Got a million coins and it's all untradeable. Just got Ben Yedder over Mertens. Interesting. Okay, you got Ben Yedder over Mertens. Wow, okay. Um, honestly, I mean, yeah, Ben Yedder's fantastic. Don't get me wrong. Mertens, in my opinion, should get into the squad still. I probably rate Mertens over Danny Ings. I get why you've got Danny Ings, obviously, for the link to Trent. But I'm wondering if you can get... Ben Yedder and Mertens into this team and bench Danny Ings, maybe playing David Silver as the right camp to start, maybe then just playing Ben Yedder as a CDM and playing David Silver and Ben Yedder off chem possibly. That might not be the worst idea in the world. Uh, just a thought, because in my opinion, Ben Yedder and Mertens would both be a good addition. Now, obviously, if you guys disagree and you think Ben Yedder is, is not as good, then let me know in the comments down below. However, with a million coins, let's let's pretend that you're not going to try and force Mertens in the squad. With a million coins, I would definitely say Danny Ings is the weakest point in this team. Um, and you're playing, you're playing him at right mid here. Hmm. What would I recommend? You're looking for a central player. I mean, you have Jamie Vardy on the bench. I think he'd be a great right mid. Um... I do see the problem, though. There's not that many. I'm trying to think of links-wise as well, what who would work. Uh, and there's not that many that I can think of. I do see the dilemma. Yeah, I do see the dilemma here. Um, apart from that, honestly, I think you've got the best players in each position. That the, the good portion of this team, in fact, pretty much every single player, I mean... You know, I don't hate Danny Ings, and I think he's a great player. Um, and, you know, he's a decent player in FIFA. So, uh, you know, that that aside, every single player here, although there's probably, you know, you can sit there and say De Bruyne 99 is better than 97 David Silva. There's no one realistically that you can say with a million coins you can upgrade. So, so yeah, and this is another another reason why we're stopping the Wednesday episodes is because most people now have end game teams. For example, Josh's team here. Unfortunately, it's a bad example because you can't really see it. Um, but Foot Trade is a perfect example. Um... Most people have end game teams now in June, so it's super difficult now to even recommend upgrades for teams, unfortunately. Uh, it's just how it is. We also got a brand new loading screen in FIFA for Summer Heat. Uh, really interesting, colorful cards. I have no idea what to think about this, whether I like the cards or not. I have no idea. Uh, very interesting, to say the least. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, whether you think this is cool, whether you're excited for Summer Heat. I have no idea what to expect. Um... Just thinking about it, is the promo right after Tots? EA have to bring out some heavily, heavily boosted cards for us to even consider wanting to use them. So I hope they know what they're doing. Go with Ruben's team now. He says, hi, hey, but the trader was our... Uh, sorry, Trent. I thought I said Kent. I was going to be very upset then. Uh, Trent, Kane, Salvio. I will have no money after this team. Uh, willing to save up. Love the vids as well. Let's check it out. Um, well, fair enough. I'm not going to tell you to improve anybody. Like, for, like I'm not going to say... A specific improvement what i will say is obviously this right side is probably your weakest point in the whole team um trent and kane as well i'm not entirely sure about that very uh interesting to say the least i would possibly say look for someone a little bit more meta than harry kane uh trent's not bad actually to be fair you know trent's actually decent at center mid but look for someone a little bit more meta than harry kane um and try and get a better right side as well um obviously you know your own play style so i'm not going to say too much upon that um, which is making the episodes a little bit difficult as well because it's like, you know, either like, and, and that, that is another reason why um, we're going to one episode a week because uh, most teams now will either be 
teams that have no coins or teams that have a ton of coins or teams that are just completely end game. So it's super difficult. So I, like I said, again, I don't want to make it too saturated and too much of the same thing. We're going with Aaron's team now. It says first is the start, second is in game, all untradeable except for Alberto VVD from the Ultimate Tots Pack. That's insane. 350,000 coins for upgrades. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, I would say straight off the bat, I mean, that that Santi Cazorla card, by the way, I don't understand how it is as good as it is, but it's, in, it's insane. He's so good in game. Uh, off, off, off the bat, I would say I've heard Orsic isn't great uh, through the grapevine. What I've been told is Orsic does not play to his stats. Whether that's true or not, I have no idea. I, I don't know if that's true or not, but I've heard it doesn't play to his stats. So I would say um, possibly getting a different left mid would be a decent shout. There is a lot of different options you can go with at this left mid spot, whether you go with someone from the Prem, whether you go with someone from the Bundesliga. Um, I've heard good things about Kostic. And if you got Kostic, you could play Kostic as your left centre mid and then uh, Kozola as your cam. Because that Kozola is just a wizard with the ball at his feet. He's insane. Um, yeah, I would just say it's up to you though. Obviously, um, from what I hear, it could also not be fact. It could be just people waffling. A lot of people do like to say when they have a bad game, they say, oh, Orsic does not play to his stats, you know, like whether that's true or not, I can't actually validate it. Um, but that's the only thing I'd say in this team that I would say could do with any improvement. Like realistically, you've got a fantastic back line, a great midfield, good strike force. I don't see anything else that I would improve realistically. Um, the next team coming from Oliver. Who says, hi, Haber. I've got 850k to work with and all is untradeable except for Mbappe, Neymar, CR7 and Balak. Okie dokie. I like this. I like this trio. I like this trio. I like the front three. Uh, very meta indeed. I would just say at this point now, just try and work on upgrading. Upgrade to a better version of Mbappe. Upgrade to a better version of Neymar. Uh, upgrade to a better version of CR7. Whether that comes in the form of of saving up, whether that comes in the form of foot champions rewards, whether that comes in the form of ultimate tots pack, etc. We don't know. Uh, I would just say, yeah, work on that because realistically, um, you're just going to enjoy playing with your team regardless. So, so if you just play and save, you know, you'll find yourself soon having enough to maybe get the UCL version of Neymar or the UCL version of Mbappe. Not the not the same rating UCL, but I mean like the the what do they call him? Super Flash, the UCL man of the match version of Mbappe. But yeah, that's that's what I would say. Uh, next from Anton, who says, on the left, it's how I start, on the right, it's how I play. I sub in a Drissy straight away. I've got 500k to work with, love the vids. Let's check it out. Oh, okay, you sub in a Drissy straight away. Interesting. Um, I'm wondering if there's a, a good Portuguese player here you could get that would get the link, that would play Nani on 8 chem, and mean you don't have to sub in a Drissy. Because one thing I will say, and this is totally tinfoil hat, and this isn't fact at all, and I can't prove it in any way whatsoever. I was told once, when you pause the game, that the moment you pause the game, you will start getting delay after. That might not be true. And and like to be fair, I, I can't say I've experienced it a whole lot. But ever since I was told that, in the back of my mind, I've always been reluctant to pause the game. Now, that could literally just be a tinfoil hat theory. Could be real. I don't know. Um, so that's why I always say, whenever people say they sub on a player, I actually say don't because it makes me nervous that you will experience the same thing. Um, what I would say, honestly, your left center mid, if you play an MLS or Portuguese player there, they're going to get eight chemistry regardless. Um, and obviously, Trent, uh, sorry, Robertson's already on eight chemistry. You could probably play that Maximiliano Morales card at left center mid. I think he'd do an absolute job. Or even that Pozuelo that you got on the bench. I would recommend starting those and then maybe at half time bringing on a Drissy. Um, again, if you agree or disagree with my theory, that that's co completely up to you. Uh, it's just what I've been told and it's it's scared me ever since. I'm not going to lie. But your team is fantastic. I really like this team. Uh, again, I wouldn't change anything else. Like your back line is insane. Uh, your midfield is great. Modric and Cruz are fantastic. You've got a great top line uh nabry and muller work really well together i wouldn't change anything else realistically with it uh the next one coming from luke who says happy to change positions and people um i have 180k for upgrades the tradables are hummels nabry and verna i want to try foot osman or Im immobile but i'm not sure please rate and review let's check it out mate i love the berry badge you guys didn't know uh, i was born in berry and uh lived there for a few years as well um when i was in high school um love it love it place has got a near and dear in my heart. That doesn't make any sense. But you know what I'm trying to say, right? Sentiment. <laughs> um, Okie dokie. What I would say with this team, right? I would say, first of all, amazing left side, amazing right side. Um, Hummels is a little bit, you know, I would say maybe upgrading Hummels to a foot birthday uh, Hernandez. I know that's technically a downgrade, 
But with the way the meta is and the way the game is played, you'll probably find more success with that foot birthday Hernandez. Or even going for like an Up Meccano or a Konate or something like that. Is it Konate that got a team of season? Up Meccano and Mukiel. Yeah, Konate did not get a team of season. I always get them mixed up. Um, but yeah, I'd say I'd say either a Mukiel or a Up Meccano. Uh, try and save it for one of those at the right centre-back spot. Either either works, realistically. I know you've got, obviously, to stay getting net, but realistically... Uh, from what I've been told, playing a goalkeeper on eight chemistry makes no difference. So, and I just, I agree with that now. I agree with what everyone tells me. Um, I just don't want, I don't want to, to, to disagree. And then, and then people just be angry at me at this point. I'm just, I, I, I've, <laughs> I've given, all right, I've given. Um, I would say though, great. So, so Havertz, great. Witzel, great. Ansu, great. Nabri, great. Kimmich, great. Regudion, great. Boateng, great. Testegen, great. Hakimi, great. Um, I would just say Werner and Hummels are your two down points. Um, up top, you could maybe save for the team of the season. Uh, Werner wouldn't be a bad shout. Um, I know you want to play Osman, but I don't see how you get him in realistically. I don't see a viable way for you to get Osman in the team. Um, so I'd probably just save for Tots Werner, to be honest. And then what I, yeah, yeah, I'd probably say upgrade Werner first and then upgrade Hummels. Um, but I mean, the rest of it is a great, great team, to be fair. I like it a lot. Um, next one is coming from Robbie. Uh, yeah, just making sure that it, it is actually a full screen image. Uh, it says, just looking for improvements. Tradables are Messi, Benyeda, and Ariola, and also Semedo. Uh, broke, but could save very easily. No worries, mate. Um, I like the team. I think that it works really well. You've got great players in game. Uh, realistically, I think Litmanen is your next upgrade in this whole team. Everyone else is great. I'd say Litmanen is probably where you focus. Who would I go with there? You could go down a couple different routes. Tots Alwa is amazing. He would be a phenomenal cam. Um, and then you play Modric on eight chemistry. Or you can go with an icon. Uh, or you can maybe go with like a Griezmann. Probably not Griezmann though. Um, I would say Tots Alwa is your is is where you where you save up, in my opinion. Uh, but it's a good team. I like the team a lot. Uh, the next one coming from uh, Waldemar Sundin. I'm sorry if I messed that up. He says, hi, Haber. Uh, Promes uh, or Promes. I was told to see, is it Promes or Promes? I have no idea. Um, Tagliafico, Tevez, Salvio, and Diego Carlos are tradable. I've got 2.8 million coins in the bank. Loving the streams and vids lately. Second pick is how the team lines up in game. Hey, much love, man. Uh, Okie dokie. Interesting. I didn't like Tagliafico this weekend. I used him for a full weekend league and just didn't enjoy him personally. The rest of this team, though, is absolutely phenomenal phenomenal uh honestly insane i like i just i don't like hmm you don't have tots with on unfortunately i mean tagli figure is probably the best option you could get there i'm not gonna lie um until a new option comes out this team is 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 utterly perfect i wouldn't change anything in this team i'm not gonna lie to you i mean the only thing i would say maybe is prime Vieira over martinez left striker and then at cdm but like what's the point that Martinez is still probably absolutely incredible. So I wouldn't change anything else. This is a fantastic team, mate. Really, really nice team. I like it a lot. Uh, the next one coming from uh, Newton, who says, rate my team, please, bro. Great vids, keep it up. All right, give you a rating out of 10. Wow. 9.9 .9 out of 10. The point one is only a point one because it's something you really can't do anything about. And it's just the fact that you've got too many players off chemistry for my liking. Paulinho, De Jong, Trent, all off chemistry, puts me off a, a smidge. And Ben Yedda, sorry. Ben Yedda, De Jong, Paulinho, Trent. Four plays off chemistry, puts me off a tiny bit. But you can't change that. You're using some of the best players that you have at your disposal. So I'm not going to I'm not gonna bash you too much for that. It's a fantastic team. Um, I really like it, mate. GG on, on your red look. GG on the team. GG on where you've come from. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. My point is what I'm trying to say is GG on... on getting this far not where you've come from all right i don't know where you're from i have no idea sometimes my mouth just speaks and i have no idea what i'm saying uh next one coming from haiti who says uh gucci man and neymar tradable got sancho today only 20k coins uh love your videos mate let's check it out Ooh, got sancho today gg i think a lot of people got sancho today not gonna lie um wouldn't change anything honestly would not change a single thing with this team it's a great team great team mate gg GG on the team. Next one coming from Ewan, who says, uh, Hey, Haber, this is my team. I'm looking to get, uh, what do you think? And is there any way you would improve? I play a 4-2-3-1 with Goretzka and Kante as the DMs, then Muller wide and Nabry, uh, and then Silver Central and Tony up top. I've got 600,000 coins for improvements. Uh, and you may recognize, you may recognize what? 
Me from the Twitch streams. Hey, of course I do, mate. I was, I was like, you may recognize it. I saw the reply. You guys can't see it, but behind here is a reply. Um, nice team. I like it. The Matty Cash, Ben White link up is pretty cool. I love Harry Maguire and the team. That's fantastic. Um, what would I change in this setup? Honestly, again, nothing. Um, no, I would change. What would I change in this setup? I wouldn't go Kante. As weird and silly and wacky as that may be, I actually wouldn't go Kante in this setup. Kante is great, but I would maybe go with a foot birthday uh, Sissoko if you could afford him. I actually... Wait, is Sissoko got a foot birthday? Am I... No, he does, doesn't he? I've just made... Yeah, he does. I thought he did. Can you afford him? 330k. There you go. Five-star weak foot, three-star skills. Bosh. 330k. Get him in. Perfect. There you go. Absolutely love it. Next one coming from Flying Oranges, who says, Evening Haber. I've got 350k. The tradables are Mares, Allison, and Phillips. Uh, good luck with the weekend league, everyone. <laughs> weekend league. Um, sorry. Okay, let's check it out. Uh, what would I change? I would play Mares at top and Danny Ings at... No, I wouldn't. I didn't notice a tower there. I'm a pleb. My bad. I'm sorry. I apologize. I take it back. I'm sorry, okay? I, I apologize. It was my fault. I made a, a severe lapse in judgment. Um, <laughs> Promez Cam, Atal, left center mid. That's all I would change. Honestly, great team, but but Atal is way more suited to center mid than Promez, and Promez is way more suited to Cam than Atal. Uh, unfortunately, this is a little bit too dark. When I render this video out, it'll be a little bit too dark, unfortunately, mate. I do apologize. Um, and it also isn't a HD screenshot. I see, I see the, the outline of the TV. You ain't, you ain't scamming me, Barney. <laughs> nice one coming from Kier. And he says, in game, I play a 4-2-3-1. Everyone is untradeable and I have about 100K. Nice. Uh, Crove Cam Tevez striker. Untradeable teams are my bread and butter. I love to see them. Uh, I would say with this team, uh, I wouldn't change much in this team, if anything, realistically, to be honest. Uh, I would say maybe save up to get Tot Salvio at right wing. And there you go. Bish, bash, bosh, lovely team. Uh, next one coming from Kieran. Hey, Haber, got end of an era silver, and now instead of Fred, 250 to 300k coins. Love the vids. Uh, nice. Let's check it out. Okay. Um, you got to get rid of Jimenez, mate. Got 300k strikers for 300k in the Prem. How much is Tots Vardy these days? Can you afford Tots Vardy? He's a little bit too much, isn't he? 395. I would save up and get Tots Vardy at striker. That would get you a good link up with the Rashford as well, and that would be a perfect addition to your team. Um... We've done Kieran's. That was just his there. Oh, Huss's team next. Um, hey, Sabre, this is the team. All in tradable besides the Sagan. I was using Carlos Tevez and Fernandez for the weekend league. I sold them, so I have 340k. Massive L. <laughs> no. Uh, I did the ultimate and got Hendo, which is also an L, but he replaces my Ndidi. Also, rate, please. I got you, mate. Nice team. I like this team. I would rate it a solid 8 out of 10. Uh, my, uh, what I would say, the downfalls of this team, personally. Loudrup, not a fan. Um, I wasn't a fan of Kamada either. I just didn't like him personally. I don't know what it is. I just didn't, didn't like him. Um, you know what? I was a bit harsh. I give it a 9 out of 10 because the rest of it is actually fantastic. The rest of it is a great team. Um, I'm just not a big fan of uh, Laudrup. I'm not a big fan of Kamada personally. Uh, next one coming from one of my mods on Twitch, uh, Joe Macbeth. I've actually played him in Weekend League before. Beat him 4-1, just saying. He, he stream sniped me, but no, he tried to give me the win, actually, to be fair. Um, and I was like, nah, let's play it out. And I beat him 4-1. Did I mention that I beat him 4-1? Because I, I beat him 4-1. Joe, do you remember when I beat you 4-1? Um, he says, hi, Haber, 100k, everything untradeable. Thanks, let's check it out. Uh, very nice. I mean, I already know your club better than you do, because I have I got you most of these cards in your rewards. Like, I opened your rewards for you and got most of, the, most of these cards for you. Um, with 100k, you can't really do much. I would say you want to try and save up to get the better version of, of Dembele. I don't know how much that card is these days, because there's so many amazing cards this year. Um, it's hard to keep track. He's 300k. I don't think 200k is too difficult. You're a gold 2 slash gold 1 player, so you're going to get between 35 and 50k from your rewards, plus whatever you get from packs. Maybe maybe you get 60, 70k. That's already 170k. If you take the coins from diff rivals, you can get up to 200k quite easily. And then, depending on what you do with your coins then, if you're smart about it, you could probably get to 300k within the next week ish um so i would say uh go and try and get a better version of dembele the rest of the team is great though i'm still jealous about that 99 vvd i really am um the next and last team for the episode is going to be from alex as if you guys may have noticed i've kind of gone a little bit quicker through the teams um as to make up for the fact there's no wednesday episode i want to try and get more teams in the episode um so i've gone a little bit a little bit quicker uh let me know down below if you prefer that or if you want me to go a little bit slower i am down for whatever your feedback 
don't know what I just heard, and I'm not going to go into it. Uh, I've lost my train of thought completely, but I think I was just touching upon the fact that your feedback means a lot to me. Uh, so the last team coming from Alex. Here is my team, all in tradable, just got Neymar from the guarantee. No coins, what do you think I should save up for? Keep it up. Much love, dude. Check it out. Well, first of all, Barry, love it again. Um, I would say, huh, <laughs> this team is beautiful. Apart from Sillison? Save up to get to Stegen, any version. Then I would say maybe start trying to get the uh, the end of a, no, the, the player moments Alexandro. Um, and then I would try and just get a better right back. I don't know who that right back would be. Maybe like a Tots Carver Hout and you just play Gucci on 8 chem. But apart from that, apart from that, this team is gorgeous. This team is phenomenal. Uh, GG. Uh, and guarantee. Uh, congratulations on Neymar from the guarantee. So thank you all for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. And I'll see you later.